When I got the script, my dad came up to me. They're like, you, call, you got another callback. Now the script, it's really dark. I said, y it, this script may be dark, but what's darker is the seventh grade, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then he was cast. Yeah. Remember, it's all in your head. It's not real. We definitely set out to make a movie that raised more questions than answers. And um, for us, it was all about the experience of the boy, Sam's character, and what he was going through and how he was coping with the trauma of his past. You all alone up here? Oh, no. I'm, I'm with my brother. Alex, um, when you first read the script, what was your... It's different from some other things that you've done, for sure. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot like Magic Mike in certain ways, but it's a, <laughs> it's just a little different <laughs> in other ways. I was just happy to wear clothes in this. So you got to wear clothes. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, I was very intrigued. One of the main, main factors of working with Lauren and Chris is I had never worked with a doer. <laughs> um, hmm. uh, Two, right. two, two directors before. I co-directed this with my creative partner, Chris Radcliffe. We wanted to make a film that, that fit both of our sensibilities as directors. Um, and that's where we set out to make The Strange Ones as a short. And it was kind of seen through the perspective of this motel clerk as these two strangers were entering into her space yeah. and not quite knowing who they are and knowing what was true or what wasn't true with what they were saying. Your brother said you guys might stick around. He lied. Everything he said since he's got here has been a lie. We shot the short in the Catskills in upstate New York, um, and so we knew we wanted to go back there. Um, and we didn't know if it would be the exact hotel, but there are hotels like that all over. Did you stay at one of those little hotels while you were filming? We stayed at many we hotels. We stayed at many hotels. It was kind of, we took a road trip with the characters. Who was the person that was driving me every day? What's his name again? Malcolm. 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 Oh my. Yeah, you love pranking. Oh, Malcolm. This guy was, in a motel above a 7-Eleven. Oh. And, <laughs> and a couple had decided in the room next to him to have a good time. Oh, God. And one of the guys, the, the guy had put yeah. his foot through oh, his, the, gosh, the, the no, wall. No. And so he could oh. see laying on his, did you know? Oh, that? my God. He could God. see laying on his bed <laughs> through his motel into oh, the next God. room. <laughs> so this guy every morning would walk up or like come up and pick me up and he hadn't slept. He looked oh, like gray. Oh, no. oh. What happens if you have a difference of creative opinion? Chris and I would spend every day for several months as we were in prep just really shot listing and storyboarding and f like everything and going over every single beat of the script so that we were on the same page so that when we were on set it was executing that plan that we had already set out. Okay, but there's more of a point of that. They're very good at, at micromanaging small things okay. when yeah. your American accent ain't going well. Oh, God. Right. <laughs> Lauren, Lauren would come up. She's more of the, the extrovert in, in the two. And she would come up. She'd go, Alex, just to let you know, your American accent is slipping just a tiny bit. And I gave her this very, like, uh, stare of leave yeah. me alone. Yeah. And she, and, I mean, she, and she decided to then leave it to Chris, who's very <laughs> introverted. OK. <laughs> who uh, didn't didn't quite take it the same way when I told him to leave me alone. <laughs> right. But it but, was amazing that you had an American accent the entire time we were shooting. And then by the, yeah. the final day when we were about to rap, he starts speaking in his, you know, like with a British accent. Yeah. And we were just like, who are you? <laughs> like, That's like Daniel Day-Lewis when he was Lincoln. He was Lincoln. <laughs> so I mean, if fire. only I was Daniel Day-Lewis. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I mean, that would be brilliant. When I say fire. Why would he lie? Fire. What can you tell me about that? Fire. Who's over there?